Hey guys, what's going on? Dar Addison. I'm transplanting my broccoli. It went through the winter and they're at a head right now. And if I could cut the water on those planters in the front. But since I've got a line of planters here, I started with some garlic chives and a curled parsley. You know, I don't want to waste the space. I'm going to just put them in these planters. I had the planters cut off in the front. You cut these planters off. Each planter can be cut off. That's in a chain, a line here. But I want to be able to maximize. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them inside of here. They look great. Every time it rains, they come back. So they were in the front of the house in their own planters, but I don't have the timer for those planters cut on because we're going through freezing next year, uh, next week, about 20 something degrees. And so I want to be able to move them to a location that I know that I can water them now before that deep freeze comes. So when I, did, I tested this line out, I cut it on, it, it was here from last year. They did really well. They have plants to come in. That's amazing. That was a pepper plant that was in there. It looked like it's budding and coming back. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> but with that being said, I'm going to take my broccoli and I'm going to just dig a little hole for it around the feeding stick and I'm just going to put them in the soil. That's all. This is the extent of my garden. I do nothing else. And they're, they're really looking good too. I was hoping, I was thinking that they were going to die because I did cut on the water. But every time it rained, the rain always uh, fed them. So I was very fortunate to have the rain come by and take care of these plants. Now, like I said, they've been growing from last, from last year. So I think we put these in maybe about during the fall of last year. October, I guess, and uh, they were slow to grow. And, uh, but yet they take it off now. They are taking off now. One more to plant and then I should be good. Try this one right about here. All right, now they're going to go through a really deep frost, so I need to protect them. So I'm going to put on a little bit of soil around them, to get them started, get them acclimated. I'm going to move this around the locations that I see fit. Make sure you cover that feeding stick, okay? Move around. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. We grew tomatoes and peppers in the same soil last year. So having this uh, broccoli come in here is, is really a blessing. And it's so hardy, very healthy too. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more soil to fill up to the top. So the soil should last them for a very, very long time. Get them positioned the way I want. And then we should be good. And who knows, I might throw some uh, garlic chives in there just to tick it off a little bit. But that broccoli looks good. I can't wait. I see a lot of heads just coming up on this thing already. So all it needs is a good environment. And hopefully this will be able to do it. Daryl Addison, torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com.